Yes, I do. Hey, does the dub go on the left or the right side? I'm like, how are you thinking about that? I would like for all of you to leave a room with me tonight. A room full of boundaries. A room full of restrictions, memories, imagination, and good times. Upon leaving this room, we come to another. All of us tonight are entering this new room together. The room we are entering has no walls. No walls, to, no walls to prevent us from traveling in any direction positive we may choose. 
no walls to confine our talents which will guide us through life, no walls to limit our decisions which have brought us all here together. And on behalf of the class of 1994, I would like to welcome you to the commencement ceremony of the Arcadia High School senior class. Here is Nathan Soy singing the Takata.
each of us will momentarily receive. Hey, now, Beatle Man will be singing, It's So Hard to Say Goodbye. Come on, Man, take it away. How do I say goodbye to
particularly liked. Galvin is at school, and it's show and tell time. When he steps to the front of the class, he holds up a little box and says, Today for show and tell, I brought a tiny marvel of nature, a single snowflake. I think we might all learn a lesson from how this utterly unique and exquisite crystal turns into an ordinary, boring molecule of water, just like every other one, when you bring it into the classroom. Calvin continues by saying, and now, while that analogy sinks in, I'll be leaving you drips and going outside. He throws the box over his shoulder and begins to walk out of the classroom. We just spent four years together in classrooms, which has only been the most recent segment of our 13 years of education. Now, as we are given one last summer before we move on to new classrooms or on to work, I urge you, make Calvin proud and spend a little time outside. Ride the swings, climb the trees, and play in the sandbox. It'll help relieve a little stress. And in the future, it will help us from keeping, it will keep us from becoming just another bunch of drips. Next is Kathy Till with the presentation of the class gift. This has been equipment, or just another object the school needed. This year, however, the gift is unique. The class of 1994 presents a gift that will ornament Arcadia for years to come. We are having a mural painted on the East Gym wall. It was designed and will be painted by Cooper Downs and will be painted by the end of the school next year. Although not we finished until this August, we do have a sketch of what it will look like to on this easel and you can see after graduation. It depicts a victorious Titan standing on a mountain and says Arcadia Titans. It will be painted above the home bleachers for all to see during basketball games and during pep assemblies. It is our hope that this mural will encourage school spirit and will be enjoyed by current and future students of Arcadia High School. We also hope that this mural will provide a memory of the class of 1994. And now Jed Crow and Molly Ford with a few words on project graduation. Project graduation is an all-night alcohol-free party for graduating seniors. The goal of the party is to provide a safe and fun place for seniors to celebrate. This year's project graduation will be held at Arizona Live at the Arizona Center. There's going to be entertainment. In the voice of Pat McMahon, broadcast daily on KTAR, discussing current issues and being an important public forum. An accomplished man and role model for Arizona, he is more than just the clown we remember from our elementary school days. As children, he made us laugh. And as adults, he will inspire us and challenge our intellect. Although at this point, we may not be ready to admit that we will soon be listening to talk shows and changing our preset dials to AM. He was as much a part of our childhood as Frosted Flakes and G.I. Joe. And now he will be a part of the adulthood that we are now entering. Parents, students, faculty, friends, I am privileged to present to you Mr. Pat McMahon. I don't believe that Kyra knew this, but I'm actually starting a new format called Grunge Talk. <laughs> I hadn't really planned on doing this, but I've got to recognize uh, a couple of people here. Uh, because this is a very special and a very different kind of uh, commencement ceremony. First of all, I sat over here thinking about all the music acts over the years that I've worked with in so many different fields, a lot of big record stars. And I gotta tell you, I have never heard an a cappella performance like Jan Mann's. That was awesome. That really was. He's uh, he's good. You know, Stevie Wonder's in Los Angeles right now crying bitter tears. <laughs> and I'm already fed up with Travis Larson because he has a better voice than I have. <laughs> well, I want to acknowledge
is that recently, Brophy had John McCain, United States Senator, Vietnam War hero, as its commencement speaker. And Sonny Slovai asked former mayor and gubernatorial candidate Paul Johnson to their ceremony. I wonder if you really appreciate the fact that in years to come, you will have to explain to those close to you that at your graduation, they invited a guy who used to show up on television every morning wearing red velvet shorts and a dress. <laughs> now, for those of you who didn't grow up here, who are asking the person next to you right now if I am, in fact, an authentic Mrs. Doubtfire, don't worry about being left out. I'm not here to talk about my career on the Wallace and Agmo show, nor am I here to encourage any of you to seek a career as a talk show host. Believe me, we have more than enough as it is, thank you. By the way, if any of you do decide that you want to do that, please try to do it with more class than Geraldo Rivera, will you? Yeah. He's a U of A graduate, and down in Tucson, they're still trying to deny it. <laughs> I am also certainly not going to suggest that you follow in the footsteps of those perhaps too often mentioned Arcadia students, Steven Spielberg and Linda Carter. Yeah. I first met him when he used to bring his Super 8 neighborhood productions down to Channel 5, and I knew Linda mostly as a lounge singer in local clubs and good ones too. They're good people. But I would hope, graduates, that you would never have to experience things like a painful divorce years of rejection, and in Linda's case, the near loss of her husband to a long prison sentence. I mention those things in their lives because that's the other side of their notoriety and glamour and fame. And nobody escapes it totally. Because the greatest athlete gets hurt, gets cut from the team, or grows old. The brilliant investor can lose a fortune, often, Bill Clinton wanted to be the President of the United States for his earliest ambitions, but now I really wonder if he still feels it's the best job in the world. Change is constant. Some winners today and tonight never get beyond mediocrity tomorrow. But some of the ordinary students tonight, this evening, on this field, whom you may not remember in your yearbook next week, will become giants in areas that they've never dreamed of. Nothing stays the same. Nothing, perhaps, except failure. Failure is a daily reality for everyone. Most of the time, these graduation speeches only talk about the heights that you can reach. But in fact, you will often fail to make the right decision, will fail to accomplish all the things you planned for that particular day, you often fail to handle every situation perfectly. You don't have to learn to love it, but you will fail. If you never do fail, then I'm assuming the class prophecy has you listed as most likely to be the next Messiah. What? The only people here tonight who won't fail are the ones who stand perfectly still, doing nothing, never moving, never taking a chance that they might make a mistake. In other words, a houseplant. I love reading about the great failures in history. I used to read to my kids about the failures. Babe Ruth, who struck out 1,531 times. Thomas Edison, who created 12,000 light bulbs before he could get one to stay lit. Colonel Sanders was a 60-year-old failure, a loser at everything, until he started making Kentucky Fried Chicken. And then there's that fat mama's boy who almost didn't make his high school team, Charles Barkley. You know, they're everywhere. But what am I doing up here, falling into the same trap that all those other graduation speakers do? You know, as you march into a new dawn, a brand new beginning awaits you. Keep your nose to the grindstone, your shoulder to the wheel, tote that barge, Lift that bail. God, that's boring. So how can I tell you how to do life? I'm still learning. Boy, am I having a good time. 
When you breathe your last breath and think your last thought, do you think it will be, well, I'm not really ready to go yet, but boy, did I have a good time. I don't mean a party good time or a vacation good time. After a while, those things are even hard to remember. My definition of a good time is time spent doing good things, heroic things, being a real hero, like the guy who teaches some little kid to tie his shoes, giving something you love to someone you love. A hero is the first to find something good to say in a crowd who is criticizing that person. It's the hero who finds the courage to acknowledge out loud beautiful things. It's heroic to never participate in any racist conversation or activity, recognizing that in some ways we are all minorities. Now you notice, you don't have to be Mother Teresa or General Schwarzkopf to be heroic in those terms. And I'll tell you what, you're guaranteed success too, as a human being. One final thing. I know what the rules are. When you talk to a graduating class, you're always supposed to talk about future career opportunities. Well, since my friend Lagmo died, there's an opening in a very important specialty field. You see, every day, Lagmo made some little kid laugh. And if you accomplish that with a child that you meet or later perhaps have on your own, I promise you'll be among those very special people who get to say, Boy, did I have a good time. Congratulations, graduates, and thank you for making me a part of your evening.
抛下。
Joshua Lee Hanawalt. Shiloh Ann Johnson. Jody Lynn Cabrani. Joelle Renee Yakam. Audrey Ann Hankerson. Jody Renee Jackano. Christopher Brent Lee. Lisa Ra 
Raquel Pereira. Peter Matthew Addison. Jessica Elizabeth Norman. Rita Marie Nombran. Melissa Beth Peterson. Rachel Ann Nagy. Nora Amelia Newton. Tamara Joanne Morton. Johanna Neva. Johanna. Melissa Marie Menes. Yeah, Melissa. Jamie Marie Morrison. Mark L. Schmidt. Jennifer Sarah, Sarah Soror.